Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we're going to talk about My Design Center and we'll talk about input devices. Because often in My Design Center, we've scanned something and we want to trace around it, or we have something that where we need to erase fine detail. So what I have right now on the screen is something that I drew, just some loop-de-loops, and I did it with a capacitive pen. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. You can also do that with your stylus that came with your machine. In fact, I'm going to show you comparisons of four different implements. The first is going to be your hand. The second is going to be a wired mouse. The third is going to be the stylus that came with your machine. And the fourth is a capacitive pen. This happens to be the magic pen that is sold by Moore Sewing. All right, and by the way, I also own an EVAC stylus that I bought off Amazon. I do prefer the Magic Pen though, and I've only used it today, but it's more responsive. So the first thing, since we have this on the screen, we're going to zoom in, and I'll use my hand for that, and let's move down on the screen, and we're going to erase. Now, erasing is one of the things you often do whenever you have drawn something or you want to clean something up. So the first thing is, if I took my finger and did this, so you notice I, I have very little visibility. If I had a lot of detail in here, I just erase all of it as well. Let's look at the mouse. With the mouse, you notice that you have high visibility. You have lots of control. I like using the mouse to erase. Now let's move the screen over. Let's try the stylus that comes with the machine. By the way, this opens up, you put your battery inside, check it periodically because you don't want it to be corroded inside. And then this cover will just slide close. And of course, on camera, it's not doing it. Now, to be very honest with you, I'm sitting about 18 inches from my screen and there is a camera between me and my screen. So it's kind of awkward with this device. And the first thing you notice though, let's get the eraser, you can't see what you're doing. So this is, this right now is at the bottom of my list. It's number three with between the, well, it, my hand and this device are on the bottom. Right now the mouse is the big winner. Let's use a magic pen. The first thing you want to do is touch the screen so that it connects. When you do that, you're going to see the visible circle. And the first thing you notice is it works extremely well. It's like your mouse. You may not be able to see the visibility that I'm seeing, but you can see how easily I can erase this and, I, and I'm barely touching the screen. So the winners for erasing are going to be the capacitive pen, which is a magic pen, and the mouse. All right, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Let's look at another thing that happens. Many of you buy panels uh, like the Dream Panel and you want to trace around it. We'll use this heart to trace around and let's make that heart black because we'll use red to trace. So let me choose a, a dark color and let me pour the bucket on it. So that's black and what we'll do is we'll trace around it with a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is use the point to point tool. And this is something that uh, that you can use. You would want to zoom in. Let's take the hand and we'll just look over on this side of the heart. So if I use my finger and I'm trying to decide which side of the screen to do this, and I want to use this point to point tool to trace this, I cannot see where I'm going because my hand is in the way. So let's just go ahead and clear all of that. And I managed to clear my screen completely, which wasn't what I wanted. So let's go back and get that heart again. But I want to be real and show you that I make mistakes too. So let's go ahead and get this dark color and pour it on the screen. Okay, let's zoom back in to 200%. So we've already said the hand isn't what we would like to use. We're going to move it over though with our hand and we'll choose the red. And let's 
it doesn't matter what stitch because I'm not going to stitch this out. This time I'm going to go ahead and use the mouse. Hold down your left mouse button and just click. And you can see that I'm very close to that line. This is actually working out extremely well. So you can see I can follow that fairly well. And those little bobbles like that, we're at 200%. You're really not going to see that, particularly if you're drawing around the, a shape that you're going to fill with stitches. So that doesn't look bad. Let's go ahead and this time we'll use the undo instead of all clear. And let's try out the stylus that came with the machine. So we'll touch. And you can see that works very well too. You just cannot see where you're going with it. All right, let's try the magic pen. So the first thing I need to do is connect. It's now connected. So what I want to do is to go ahead and I'm going inside this shape instead of the outside. And you can see that I, I'm, I'm doing okay. The thing I think I need to do with this magic pen, though, is keep the point closer to the screen. So let me try that. So. And like I said, I haven't practiced with this at all. I took it out of the box today. So the magic pen works pretty well. It's that I'm not used to using it on this machine. So let's go ahead and clear that. So for this exercise, the two tools that work the best for this, actually three, the mouse works pretty well. This works well, and this works well. My hand does not. All right, let's go back and let's zoom back out to 100%. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change our implement and this time we're going to use this open shape. Oftentimes you want to draw around something because you want to have, you know, be following the shape. Maybe you want to put, I don't know, some curves around it and you can see this doesn't look good. I'm using the mouse. It is awful. So that doesn't look good. Let's clear it. Let's try something else. Let's try just a swoop of like drawing around that. That's not too bad. Let's clear that. Let's do it with our hands. So if we tried to do those scallops with our finger, not so good. We'll clear it. We'll do the swoop around. You can't see where you're going with your finger, so you wouldn't really want to use it. Let's use the, the tool that came with the machine. That's a very smooth curve, and it doesn't look bad. All right, let's use the magic pen. And it's a smooth curve as well. You just have to learn to practice with whatever you're going to use so that you get a, a good appearance for whatever you're trying to do. And by the way, I'm not an artist, so you can tell that... When you practice with something, the second time around, this was better. All right, the last thing that we're going to look at, and we'll clear the screen. We're going to look at something where, where you are drawing like a shape, where you're wanting to draw like a loop-de-loop. -loop. So first of all, it needs to connect. And you can see that this follows. I don't have any places where it's not continuous, which is one of the things that I, I found my evac would lose connection. So let's clear that. Let's try it with a mouse. Holding down my left mouse button, it's hard to draw curves with the mouse for me. Now you may be good at it, but I'm not. So that's what it looks like. All right, let's try it with a finger. With your finger, the thing is you can't see anything. And the other thing is that depending on the humidity in the area, your hand is, is 
sticking on that screen. Now let's try it with the device that came with our machine, the stylus. And you can see that I can draw fairly well with the stylus. The thing about it is it's heavy. So if I wanted to try to take this pin and follow it, which we'll let it connect. You can see that even though I haven't practiced with this pen, that, that with a little bit of practice, this is going to be easier to have a capacitive stylus to do any kind of drawing. And again, I, I know I'm not an artist and that's not the point of this exercise. So going back to, to the input devices, the hand is great for selecting icons on the screen and choosing options is not the best drawing tool. The mouse is awesome for connecting on, on the icons. It's great for erasing. It works okay for drawing. It's not the best drawing tool. This does not connect with icons as, as well as some of the other devices. I find out sometimes that I have to press it more than once to connect. It is a, a great drawing tool, however, although you have limited visibility, it's heavy, and then for erasing, I dislike it completely. Um, Stylus like this, a capacitive stylus, works well with all of the options. Would I honestly sit and select things on the screen here for my menu icons? No, I'd probably use my mouse or my hand. But if I'm going to draw, if I'm going to race and be in tight areas, this is probably going to be my choice. So whatever you do, if you get a capacitive stylus, make sure that it is a capacitive stylus. You need to have a fine tip on it because this tip moves in and out. It is a tip that whenever you're touching that screen and it connects and you can hear it when it does, you can do very, very fine detail with it. And you can see that I'm making little bitty circles. So this works extremely well. But like anything, you need to practice. I'm Terry Mathis. I hope this video is helpful. Join me in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. We have almost 3,000 members now, and we have several people who can answer your questions. It's a great place to join because if you want an answer very quickly, you got to remember I'm one person. But on Facebook, you have the advantage of getting other people to help you quickly, too. I do respond to your questions, and as always, I'd appreciate your time.